Imagine the Earth as a giant jigsaw puzzle, where the pieces are constantly moving and shifting. These pieces, known as tectonic plates, fit together to form the Earth's crust. However, they're not stationary. They glide, collide, and grind against each other, building up energy over time. When this energy is too great to be contained, it releases suddenly, shaking the ground beneath us. This is what we call an earthquake. Now, these earthquakes aren't randomly scattered around the globe. They follow certain patterns, occurring primarily along the major belts of the Earth's crust. The most significant of these is the Circum-Pacific Belt, also known as the Ring of Fire. It's a hotbed for seismic activity, stretching from the coasts of New Zealand around the edge of Asia, across Alaska, and down the western coasts of North and South America. So the Earth beneath us isn't as solid and unchanging as we might think. But what causes these pieces of the Earth's crust to move and shake? To answer this, we need to dive into the world of geology and physics. Most earthquakes occur when the stress on rock masses along the Earth's crust becomes too great, and the energy stored within them is suddenly released, a process known as the elastic rebound theory. Imagine a rubber band being stretched until it finally snaps. That's somewhat similar to how this works. This sudden release of energy causes the ground to shake. And voila, we have an earthquake. Now, you might wonder, what causes this stress buildup in the first place? The answer lies in several natural forces. The most common among these is elastic strain caused by the constant movement of tectonic plates. However, other factors like gravity, chemical reactions, and massive body movements also contribute. Volcanic activity can also cause earthquakes, but the mechanisms are slightly different. Earthquakes and volcano eruptions often happen in the same regions, but most earthquakes are not directly caused by volcanoes. Just because they're neighbors doesn't mean they're always related. And here's something that might surprise you. Sometimes we humans are the culprits behind earthquakes. Human activities like fluid injection, mining, and reservoir filling can induce seismic activity. When we fill a reservoir, the sheer weight of the water increases pressure on the Earth's crust, which can trigger fault slips and result in an earthquake. The Hoover Dam, for instance, has been linked to a series of quakes since its construction. In conclusion, earthquakes are a result of various natural and human-induced forces. They're a testament to the enormous power contained within our Earth, a power that can be both awe-inspiring and terrifying. While Mother Nature has a lot to do with earthquakes, we humans have a role to play too. So, let's continue striving to understand these forces better and in doing so, learn to live in harmony with our planet. When the Earth shakes, it leaves a mark. Just as a pebble tossed into a pond sends ripples across the surface, an earthquake sends ripples across the land, causing the ground beneath our feet to shudder and shake. This ground movement, as innocuous as it may seem, can lead to significant changes in the Earth's surface. Imagine a hillside stable for years, suddenly giving way as the Earth shakes, triggering a landslide. Or consider the phenomenon of liquefaction, where the shaking of their ground causes soil to behave like a liquid. Buildings sink, roads warp, and what was once solid ground becomes a quagmire. But the effects of earthquakes aren't confined to the land. When an earthquake occurs beneath the ocean, it can trigger a tsunami a series of waves that can travel across the ocean at high speeds. The destructive power of tsunamis is immense, capable of wiping out coastal communities and causing extensive damage. Take, for instance, the Lisbon earthquake of 1755. The earthquake itself was devastating, but the tsunami that followed was even more destructive, laying waste to the city and causing a death toll in the tens of thousands. And then there are sieges, oscillations in enclosed bodies of water like lakes or swimming pools, caused by the shaking of the earth. While they may not be as dramatic as a tsunami, sieges can still cause significant damage and pose a threat to those nearby. To understand the effects of earthquakes on us and our environment, scientists use the modified Mercalli Intensity Scale. This scale doesn't measure the energy released by an earthquake, like the Richter Scale. Instead, it classifies earthquakes based on their observed effects, from barely felt tremors to catastrophic quakes that cause total destruction. 
The power of earthquakes is immense, reshaping landscapes and lives in moments. But by studying these effects, we can better prepare for and respond to these natural disasters, reducing their impact and helping communities recover more quickly. Earthquakes are a force of nature, but we're not helpless against them. In fact, our understanding of these seismic events has grown exponentially over the years, thanks to the tireless work of scientists and researchers worldwide. Every tremor, every rumble, every quake is an opportunity for us to learn more about the Earth beneath our feet. This knowledge isn't just academic, it's essential for our survival. The more we know about earthquakes, the better prepared we can be. From constructing earthquake-resistant buildings to developing early warning systems, our advancements in science and technology are empowering us to stand strong against Earth's tremors. Ongoing research continues to improve our understanding of earthquakes, uncovering the mysteries of our dynamic planet. The more we learn, the more we can protect ourselves and our communities. When we face earthquakes with knowledge and unity, we can weather any storm the Earth throws our way.